Good morning, everybody, and look at who's crawling around the house. <laughs> Good morning, baby. Are you having fun crawling around? Huh? I love your hairdo today. You look like a little teddy bear. Yeah. You're so beautiful. It's nearly time for her to take a nap, and I'm just making some food for Hannah. I made this, which is a mix of pears and bananas. And currently I'm cooking up her main meal, which is sweet potatoes and zucchini. I'm just using whatever I have at home. Look at how well she's crawling now. You're doing so good, baby. Yeah. You're so strong. Normally, she can do like a proper crawl, but she just loves to glide across the floor. <laughs> You're such a big girl now. And now she can also pull herself up in her crib. So I need to change the height of the crib. Right now it's like quite high so that I don't have to like bend over when I put her in the crib. But unfortunately, little miss is getting really strong and she's pulling herself up um, which really scares me because she can potentially fall over and you know it's not very safe so i need to take apart maybe i'm not sure if i need to take apart the crib or not to just lower the crib um or lower the mattress of the crib i don't oh my god i can't speak but anyway i hope you guys understand what i'm saying and this is like a new face that she loves to make recently. Do it, Hannah. Do it for Mama. Hannah. <laughs> There's a face that she loves to make. She goes through phases, like sometimes she loves to like just you know and spit everywhere but at the moment she's like sniffing in and out with her nose and pointing her lips out like a little fish it's so freaking cute hopefully i'll catch her on camera but yeah this is how she crawls this is how she gets around <laughs> This machine is so freaking good. All I do is put the veggies in here, it steams, and then once it's done, I pour this into this container, this compartment, and then mix it. And also when it steams, there is a little bit of liquid left from steaming it. And I just add it in there so no vitamin is lost. And I don't put in any salt. I want Hannah to get used to the taste of the actual vegetables. Saying that though, I have been giving her some of our food and she loves it. But I am limiting that. But anyway, this machine is so good. I have never bought any pre-made baby food. I always make Hannah's food because... I like to know what's inside of what she's eating, you know? When you buy store-bought food, you're not controlling anything. There can be many things in there that you don't want your baby to eat. Um, but yeah, that's just my personal point of view. Homemade is always better than store-bought. Once I like the consistency of her food, I'll just pour it in to this little Tupperware cup. This will last her for about two, three days. The weather has been so beautiful recently here in France, but it is a little bit chilly. Um, that's why I've put a sweater on Hannah. But recently she's been loving her naps outside. And this is the face I was talking about. <laughs> 
um she makes so many cute funny faces nowadays it's so freaking adorable but anyway like i was saying she has been loving taking naps outside in her stroller i don't know if it's the best idea to push her around and have her get used to that um during nap time but she's been loving it and i'm just like why not you know the weather is beautiful yeah and you need some vitamin d and i don't mind pushing you around around the garden that is because i'm doing ramadan and if i walk outside for too long i'd get thirsty and you know anyway i'm gonna push baby girl around and have her take a little nap so this is the lazy way of how i push the stroller around and also she has learned to drink her bottle on her own she doesn't do it all the time but she does it a little bit like sometimes in the morning most of the times in the morning but at least she knows how to hold the bottle and feed herself now which is pretty awesome and she is fast asleep anyway good afternoon you guys as you guys saw hannah is fast asleep but i do have to stay a little quiet because she wakes up quite easily nowadays um as you can see but anyway i just wanted to give you guys a little update on my life and how ramadan is going um first of all ramadan was going really well until two days ago and then i started cheating um I don't know why I just didn't feel like doing Ramadan I guess and I ate like a piece of cheese here and there and um, yeah but today I'm gonna be strict once again but it has affected me mentally because doing Ramadan is such a extreme like type of fasting in my opinion um, because you're not allowed to eat until well now it's 9.05 I believe and each and every day that Ramadan passes by you have to add on like two minutes to the um, fasting time um, and it's been quite challenging and we are totally like our schedule is so messed up right now um, my husband and I and even our kids we don't sleep until like 3 4 o'clock in the morning um, and we don't stop eating until like 3 4 o'clock in the morning which is quite bad and then wake up sometimes I wake up at like 8 o'clock 9 o'clock sometimes 10 o'clock it just depends how tired I am but my husband and I take turns on who wakes up with Hannah in the morning and yeah we try to make it work but it is quite challenging I just feel like I'm doing intermittent fasting but with a really messed up time like time period because I stop eating at around 3 o'clock you normally can eat until like 6 o'clock in the morning but I don't stay up until that late thank goodness um, but I do eat until 3 o'clock in the morning and then I wake up around like I said 9 o'clock it really depends and I just do things around the house um, sometimes I'm lazy and I don't get much done I just lounge around on the sofa watch YouTube videos <laughs> it's really bad um, and then we make dinner and then we eat around like like I said to 9 o'clock right now at the beginning of Ramadan we started eating around 8 30 so yeah it has been adding up and by the end ramadan finishes we don't get to end our fast until like 9 30 in the evening which is really really late in my opinion but anyway i'm doing it out of respect for my husband i try my best i'm not perfect at it um but i am trying my best for him but anyway weight wise i weighed myself if you guys saw my last vlog i believe it was like 72 71 i'm not sure but i haven't weighed myself since then um so i will be weighing myself with you guys right before i break my fast today just to see like where i am have i gained have i lost weight because it's really interesting for me to see that um food wise i haven't been eating the healthiest um or the best choice of food we have cakes like every single day and i don't know what's wrong with me but my willpower is non-existent and i haven't been resisting any of the sweet temptations so 
my sugar intake is horrendous i've been eating so much sugar like cake wise like cakes and stuff like that and also food wise my husband loves to make like fatty fattening food um lack of vegetable we've been having like pizza fried moroccan stuff um and yeah i think i probably gain weight and workout wise our goal at the beginning of ramadan was to work out at least five times per week and that has not happened i've done four times three times and this week well actually last week this week is a brand new week because today is monday but last week was probably the worst week since ramadan started um, my son and I worked out only twice last week, but this week we have got to step our game like We just got to get it done I know it's difficult to work out at like 11 o'clock at night because by the time you eat by the time we clean up our kitchen and everything It just gets really late and by the time we actually digest some of the food that we ate before working out it's just it just gets really late and we get tired and it's not easy i promise you it's not easy but we are trying our best um like i said this week we are going to try to step up our game and get in at least four workouts this week but i am still aiming for five workouts um but we'll see but anyway, oh by the way, thank you you guys so much for the 1k subscriber count. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. It has been such a long road and I haven't been like that consistent on YouTube, but I am happy that I stuck to it. Um, hitting the 1,000 subscriber mark, it's such a gratifying goal, you know? and i made it <laughs> now the next goal is gonna be 10k you know um hopefully we'll get there one day but so far i'm just really happy with the 1k subscriber mark that was a big goal of mine and we're finally here so thank you guys so much for subscribing and for staying tuned to my videos i know not every video might be of interest to you guys because i don't really do like a niche video like i don't do just fitness like my life is more than just fitness you know um but yeah my content is all over the place but that's just how i am that's who i am i want to share everything with you guys like my fitness journey um my self-sustainable journey which i'm doing at the moment oh and i have to definitely give you guys a little garden update because things have been growing like crazy first of all here is my germination station i don't know if you guys have watched my other vlogs but i started my germination station back in the end of february beginning of march but some of the plants died for example the cucumbers um, all of my tomato plants died, basil died, zucchini died, um, so I restarted the zucchinis late March, beginning of April. These were started and they're doing really, really well. I'm actually going to transplant these into their permanent home today because look at the roots on them. It's not root bound yet, but it's getting there, so it does have a good amount of roots so it's ready to be transplanted i believe last time i transplanted them it was way too early and then we got this crazy frost period and that's why my plants died but hopefully um the frost is over and done with and these plants will survive but so far i have one two three four five six zucchini plants and i believe these are cucumbers so one two three so far three cucumbers but yeah that is a pretty much it actually these might be zucchinis as well but their leaves look really tiny no i think they're cucumber and i have some eggplants growing here i have a sunflower that i have to transplant as well and i have some calendulas to attract the pollinators and over here i have some strawberry plants i actually hand pollinated these because i haven't seen many bees in my garden look 
I'm gonna get strawberries this year. Look at you guys. These are little strawberries forming. But there are some flowers that didn't get pollinated. And let me just show you guys what it looks like when the flowers doesn't get pollinated. So it will just die and there is no like growth or anything of that. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm trying to show y'all. So not every flower will turn into a strawberry. You see how that's black? That's dead. But you see this one? That's a tiny strawberry. I have many, many forming because like I said, I hand pollinated these because I didn't see many bees. So yeah, it's really working and I'm extremely proud of myself because this is the first year growing strawberries. Some people said that for the first year, you should cut off the flowers of the strawberry plants, not to let them fruit, but what's the point of buying strawberry plants and not getting fruits from them? even if it's the first year, you know? Anyway, my strawberry plants are doing great and hopefully we get quite a bit of strawberries. And I think we will. And also here is my mint plant that I planted out of cuttings. As you can see, I just stuck some more in there yesterday. Um, these are brand new, these are fresh, but these are like older cuttings that I let sit in water for them to root out a little bit but these one i didn't let sit in water i just stuck them in there just to see it's an experiment growing plants is a learning process for me because i'm not a professional gardener or anything like that but i do want to grow more of my own food so yeah this is where we begin and over here is my rosemary is not doing anything at the moment i have my cucumber plant over here that i transplanted about a week ago it doesn't look that happy because the leaves are turning really pale. I think it's getting too exposed to the sun, I'm not sure. But um, my spinach is still doing well. I've harvested these a couple of times. And oh my goodness, you guys, look at my radishes. That is so cool. And over here, are my arugulas more radishes carrots over there beets over here coriander over here and some lettuce this is like an apple hearted lettuce i believe i know i grew these too close together but i'm gonna harvest the leaves like once they're about that big i'm not gonna let it form into like a proper lettuce head if you know what i mean and over here, I have some parsley that died, but I also re sowed in some more seeds. So, as you can see, there are some new growth here. Chives died as well, and I regrew them. My broccoli plant is not looking very happy. I don't think he's gonna make it, but I'm gonna transfer this zucchini plants in here, and then I have more carrots over here, and they're actually getting their true leaves now. And then some more lettuce. I have different type of lettuces. This is like a frizzy type of lettuce. Red lettuce. Spinach. Garlic. I have so much garlic. Um, some more strawberries. Leek. White onion. And more beets. In these pots are my potatoes. Um, I don't know how my potatoes are doing. Honestly, they're underground, so I can't see anything so far. And here I have ginger growing in there. I actually dug it up like a little bit and I did see some growth. So that is a great. And then here's my basil that I restarted because the other ones died. Let me just come over here. In this pot, I started what did i start in this pot more basil i believe this is tomato basil that i bought at the store it doesn't look so great i bought some purple basil it died i also sprinkled some more basil seeds in here the other day just so that it can take over and over here i have some thai basil 
that I transplanted the other day. I saw that the roots were pretty good, so I just got them out here. So hopefully they'll survive. Oh, and I have some more calendulas over here. And over in this section of the garden, I'm growing some more flowers for the pollinators. I want to try to grow my own sweet potatoes. Apparently, this is how you do it. You just stick a sweet potato um, in the ground, well, half of it exposed, and hopefully it will grow shoots either from here or here. And then once it grows the shoots, then you can cut the shoots off once you see the roots and then plant it in a pot. And that's how you create sweet potatoes, apparently. I've never done it. So this is something brand new to me. And over here, the times are looking really great. My dills have sprouted oregano. We actually used this in our pizza sauce the other day and it was a fantastic. I'm really sorry about the lighting, you guys. But anyway, here is my lavender plant. She is looking beautiful. I do want to try to learn how to propagate these so that I can have some more lavender plants in my garden. And here I have some more strawberries with strawberries as you guys can see. So yeah, we'll, we'll most likely get quite a bit of strawberries this year. Uh, fingers crossed. I sowed in some green beans over here two days ago. I have some munch twos, leek that I'm experimenting with. It's just like kitchen scrap. I'm trying to see if I can regrow actual leek from kitchen scrap. And over here I have some more garlic. And here, um, two onions from kitchen scrap as well. I used the onions and the heart was growing some leaves. So I just kept the heart, ate the rest of the onion and stuck the heart of the onion back in the soil and it's growing so we'll see um, I'm planning to put in a tomato plant over here but because all of my pota potato tomato plants died I'll most likely buy tomato plants from the store this year because if I restart the seeds now I think it's gonna be too late before I harvest it I don't know we'll see and over here I have some more munch twos I planted one of the sunflowers over here and I was planning to put in another zucchini plant over here so anyway we shall see and then along here we have a couple of tulips a week ago this was stunning but unfortunately the petals are falling off so yeah but anyway all in all my garden looks pretty darn good I love all the wildflowers or weeds as many people call them but they are really really beautiful so yeah that is the update on everything hopefully this year I'll get some crop out of all of the things that I've planted my daughter said that look at all the stuff that she's done she'll probably get like a carrot or two from all of her crops <laughs> which is really sad that she doesn't think her mom can actually plant and grow food but Hopefully I can prove her wrong and show her that, yeah, with a little bit of effort and research that we can grow some of our own food. All planted. Hannah, <laughs> can you redo that face again, please? Show me the face. Show me the face. Show me the face. <laughs> Show me the face. <laughs> oh, help! <laughs>